Hey there, YouTube. What well, are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic here. I'm here in a workshop uh, with my Nissan. Uh, lately, I've been having trouble braking hard on highways while at high speed. So I got it to my mechanic. Was a cool guy by the way awesome and I asked him to you know check my rear brakes because uh, a few days ago we changed the brake pads in front so but I still didn't have any I mean not 100% brake power it's like I had like 50 or 60% brake power so I was wondering what was going on so he opened it and he found out that the pads over here are all gone. It's just metal. So I don't have a pad here at all. It's just plain metal. So, but I have some pad here because it's at the back. So it's still there. Uh, what my mechanic found was super, super dangerous is actually right here see this is the left side of my rear wheel of my car and see what's going on here you see this this is all brake fluid you see this this is called the brake drum or some sort of drum I forgot the technical word for it so my mechanic is out right now looking for the part in a part shop or you know a store where they sell parts like Napa or AutoZone and see here this is where I've been leaking it broke this this drum broke because it's old and it's leaking fluid brake fluid all over not only that this is also plain there's no no pad left on this one I do have pad here because this is what happens in a car this pad the front pad brake shoe pad goes off but while the back pad because the pressure doesn't fall that much stays on but look at this this is so dangerous man this is you can't tell whether or not you're having a brake fluid flu leak because there's no fluid here right so all the fluids are here stuck inside the wheel only when you go to a mechanic for inspection and he opens up the wheel and you tell him that my brake power is not so good and he tries to change the brake shoes he can discover this dangerous dangerous thing so this is a Nissan it's been running pretty well for me no uh, you know arts noises or anything it looks okay on the inside but look at what's going on here so for you folks out there get your brake pads checked all the time you know at least after 25,000 miles or 30,000 miles get it checked because if this is happening and there's no warning on the dashboard there's no indicator on the dashboard saying that your brake has some problem it doesn't uh, light up because there's no computer systems here installed or sensors here I don't know maybe the newer cars they have it but on my car it's not there so get your brakes rear brake shoes checked quite often every 20,000 25,000 I would recommend every 20,000 miles get it checked have your mechanic open it you know and have it checked all right all right stay safe everybody and stay fantastic oh no